Hello everybody, this is Amel Peralta with another coding interview preparation video for you. And this time I'm going to show you the continuation of the previous video. So last time I showed you how to solve this problem, the case largest element in an array problem. So I gave you two solutions. The first one was using sorting and uh, the time complexity was big O n log n. The second time I showed you how to solve it using a priority queue with time complexity big O n log k. But now I'm going to show you how to solve it using a selection algorithm. The same one that is based on the partition algorithm of quicksort. Um, and the time complexity in average is going to be big O of n. It's going to be linear. In the worst case, it's going to be big O n squared, but in average is linear. So the way that we do this is that we're going to use the, a pivot. We're going to select a pivot and we're going to rearrange the elements in the array such that all the elements that are bigger than the pivot are going to be to the left and all the elements that are less than the pivot are going to be to the right. And then every time we check if the position is the same as k minus 1, uh, the position of the pivot is the same as position k minus 1, uh, and if that's the case, then we found the kth largest element. So the main thing here is that by using the partition algorithm um, in this way, because normally we, we use it like all the elements that are less are to the left and all the elements that are bigger are to the right, but we have to actually change it. We have to say that all the elements that are bigger are to the left and all the elements that are smaller are going to be to the right of the pivot. And then we're going to return the index of the pivot. And when we find out that the index of the pivot is the same as as k minus 1, and we say k minus 1 and not k because this is zero based, then that's going to be the kth largest. And this is using the selection algorithm that was developed by Tony Hall. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do this. So if you, if you have studied quicksort before, this is based on quicksort and it's going to be big O of n time in the average case. So first, I'm going to have two variables, integer left, gets a value of 0, and right, gets a value of nums.length minus 1. Then, while true, I'm going to have an infinite loop. So, I'm going to say that integer position gets a value of partition and this is a helper method I'm gonna write later passing nums passing left and passing right so this is gonna give me the position of the pivot remember that this is the the element the pivot is the element that is in between the con that, that meets the condition that all the elements to the left are bigger and all the elements to the right are smaller so this is the position I'm looking for, the position of the pivot. So if the position equals k minus 1, then I already found the kth largest element. So I can return nums sub position. Now, else if the position is less than k minus 1, that means that I have to go to the right because I'm looking for um, I pos I w I'm looking for the position k minus one, and this is less, so I have to go to the. I have to increase. I, I have to go to the right, so I can say left gets a value of position plus one. Otherwise, I have to go to the left to find the k minus one element. So right gets a value of position minus one. Okay. So that should do it. Now I'm going to write a helper method uh, to swap in the array nums, swap the element of position i with the element of position j. And this is the standard swap algorithm for swapping two elements. So I'm going to say that integer temp is a value of nums of i. Then nums of i now is going to get a value of nums of j. And nums of j gets a value of temp 
So this is gonna swap the element of position i with the element of position j in the array nums. And now I can write the partition algorithm. The partition algorithm is gonna select the pivot element. And then it's gonna rearrange the array such that all the elements bigger than the pivot are to the left and all the elements smaller are to the right. So private integer partition is gonna return the index of the pivot. It's gonna take the array nums as input, integer left, and integer right as input. So in this case, I'm going to choose the pivot to be the first element in the array. So I'm going to say integer pivot gets the value of the first element, nums of left. And I'm also going to have an L pointer. I say pointer, but this is a, a pointer just as an index. So gets a value of left plus one and R gets a value of right. So L is gonna start not at left, it's gonna start at the one after left. Because what I wanna do is that I wanna check all the elements after left because left is gonna be the pivot. And at the end of the iteration then I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna swap the element at position left which is the pivot with the element at position R. Um, because I'm just going to maintain the invariant here um, to make sure that the property that I told you before is, is satisfied. And I'm going to interchange the pivot, which is at left, at the end of the iteration. So I'm going to say while L is less than or equal to R. Okay. So now I want to fix, I'm going to satisfy the condition that I told you before. So I'm going to check. Remember, I want to have all the elements bigger than the people to the left and all the elements smaller than the people to the right. So if that condition is reversed, I want to reverse it. So if the element that is to the left is smaller than the pivot and the element that is to the right is bigger than the pivot then I want the opposite so I just have to reverse it I'm going to swap in nums the element at position left with the element at position R and after this the condition is going to be satisfied for these two elements so I can, I can already go to the next ones increment left and decrement right And after that, I'm going to be looking at two different elements. So I can also check again. If the element at position L is already bigger or equal to the pivot, so this is what we want. We want these elements um, to the left to be bigger or equal to the pivot, and this is fine. So we can just go to the next one. And by the same token, if the element uh, to the right, the element at position R is already is already less than or equal to the pivot, then that's what we want. We want all the elements to the right to be smaller or or equal. So we can also say this is fine. So I can just go to the left. And by the end of this loop, the conditions will be satisfied. The only thing that I have to fix is this element here, which is the pivot. So I want to fix it by swapping in nums the element of position left, this left here, which is the first element that we ignored, with the element of position R, which is the one of the pivot. And finally we return R. And this should do it in big O of n time in the average case. So let's test it. Okay, it seems to be working fine. Let's submit it. Perfect. So as you can see, this is working. Uh, this is to find the kth largest element using the quick selection algorithm based on the partition method of quicksort invented by Tony Hall. So Thank you for watching, uh, please press like, 
please uh, subscribe to my channel uh, so I can make more videos and thank you see you next time